I'm here at Amoeba Music Hollywood with Shingo 2 who showed up to buy the Gospel of Hip Hop by KRS-One and uh, was in line until a moment ago until I grabbed him over here uh, waiting to get the book signed. So what did you think of uh, KRS-One's uh, talk today? Well, I gotta say man, you know, you have to respect the architect of hip hop. I've seen his many legendary shows, I've experienced him live and uh, I really wanted to hear what he had to say. You know, I've read a few pages of the book so far and it's really good, very and relevant. Yeah. And of course, uh, in Japan, he's one of those artists that has long been sort of highly c uh, considered, right, with, with fans. Worldwide, man. Yeah. yeah. What can I say? I mean, people say things, you know what I mean, here and over there, but it's, e it's e e easier said than done than somebody who has walked that path for decades, right? And uh, you just got to put it down, right? So you have to respect the effort that you, know, that you see right here. And of course, I'm, I'm still a student of hip hop. I really don't know the entire history. I can only speak from my own culture, but he's definitely inspired me to live my life in that manner where you could still hold down your own roots and still share the information you know, through your art, which is great. Yeah, and he really does, like you say, he practices what he preaches. He's been doing it for so many decades, not just years. Mm -hmm. So listen, getting back to you, Shingo Tu, yeah. you've been a busy man. I haven't seen you in a number of months since then. You've been all over the world. You had one of your songs that you collaborated with Tommy Guerrero in the World Cup. Yeah, so sure. tell, tell me a bit, a bit about that. Well, yeah, that was a very um, organic collaboration that happened. The director was a friend of a friend who came out to my show in Brooklyn. And also, I had already worked with the people that were, you know, kind of in that business of trying to get music placement. And you know, it was it was for me it was like getting commissioned for making a soundtrack. And the music was uh, original, and I really wanted to put the message behind it. So you you only hear the hook in the song, but we're still preparing to put out the whole song with the verses, you know, that go before and after the chorus as well. So yeah, look out for that. So you also did some work with another great hip hop artist, um, Cool Keith. Yeah. Tell me a bit about that and where the recordings happened. Right. The recording happened at the studio of Yeti Beats. It's in uh, Echo Park, and it's just a studio, a great studio that's got people just coming in left and right, all genres. On any given night, you just drop by there, and the doors are always op open for artists. I like it. Yeah, it's kind of an inner circle, but it's really you know nice tight circle like you hear roots reggae people hip-hop people and electronic people you know I've seen people people like black star who's the MIS producer there you know to peace free staff fellowship fat lip is always there you know great dude and we're just having a blast man you know so when cool Keith came into town I called up cave and Toki Toki Monsta and we we're just jamming in the studio he was so nice he was just he was just a machine man like he would only need like 15 minutes to write out a whole verse wow he would just have like scraps of paper with him all big letters but then somehow in his head he just busts out like a really really complex rhyme it's amazing and as an individual to work with how was that experience dude it was definitely rewarding you know i was definitely nervous at first but he was very kind considerate you know he, he would be like actually studying what I'm spitting, like, oh, you should come like this if I'm going like that, and then he would, like, really be considerate, you know, not just, like, putting my name in a verse, but that wouldn't be, you know, he would really be trying to work with you. Real hip-hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've been living in L.A. for, I guess, over a year now? About two years now. Two years now. And uh, you enjoy it here, like, the, the fact that you can collaborate with certain artists like that? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, in retrospect, man, you know, those opportunities maybe not have presented itself if I was just in the Bay. But yeah, working with people like Fat Lip or Cool Keith, yeah, it's amazing like how our generation now are able to communicate with them on almost eye to eye level, which is amazing, right? Because right. we were in our teens when those guys were just like way up there, you know? Right. Yeah, it's amazing. So, uh, the Bay Area, I know you go up and you do shows there from time to time. What do you miss most about living in Oakland and the Bay Area? Uh, I definitely miss the weather. I definitely miss the food. And, of course, being able to 
go to cafes that are in walking distance. You know what I mean? Like, you could be in certain neighborhoods in LA too, but being the base, very close knit, and it's just cozy, man. Yeah. I mean, I was there for like two weeks the last last month, and it was great. Yeah. Yeah. So what's coming up for you uh, for the rest of the ne There's a half of the year left, 2010. Yeah. You got a Japanese tour lined up, or what? Yeah. Me, DJ Ashwater, Cave. We're all touring uh, Japan September. Uh, and uh, DJ Ashwater is going to put out the second installment of my mix CD. Just mashing together all the English songs, some are released. So we'll have that ready by September. You can check it online. And me and Cave are working on our English album as well. And then this cool key thing, when can we look forward to that? Hopefully you'll hear a cut on my mix CD. And uh, other than that, it's really up to Cool Keith. Okay. He, he's just crazy. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he's got so many projects. Yeah. Very prolific guy. Uh, well, great. Shingo, too. Thank you so much for your time. Anything you want to add or shout out before you go? Uh, big up to Billy Jam, Hip Hop Slam, and DNZ. Uh, be safe in Japan, all right? All right. Peace. Thanks, man.